What's up, everybody? It's the zombie, and there's an EV. And the zombie did something with his hair. Check that out. Uh, it's actually black. Well, it's brown. It's, it's as closest to my natural hair color as I could get. Felt like changing it up. So, zombie, what the fuck's going on? We're not playing Dying Light today? What? No, we're going to take a little break from Dying Light just for today. Uh, I've been playing this all weekend with a... Uh, with wife and uh it's a mod for minecraft called pixel mod it's actually really fun uh i had a you know coerce wife into uh getting on in on it because she is not a big pokemon fan i am a gen 1 fan i, I like gen 2 and gen 3 but yeah gen 1 completely like the one i like uh so this is pretty cool. Uh, it's a really cool mod. Uh, we're going to jump right into it. But first, uh, let's see here. Evie, I'm going to pop you off real quick. What's that button there? Bam. As a reminder, September 3rd, 4th, and 5th at the Rust Belt in East Moline. Midwest Monster Fest. You can get your tickets at MidwestMonsterFest.com. And while you're there, you're going to be able to see. Hold on. i got to click these buttons. Bam. All of these great people are going to be there. So, okay, go to MidwestMonsterFest.com, get your tickets. They're real cheap. I showed you that last week. I'm not going to show it to you today. But, yeah, totally worth it. So, let's pop Eevee back up here. Bam, Eevee! Eevee's my favorite Pokemon. I got Eevee over there, Eevee up there, Eevee over there, Eevee everywhere. This is a sad Eevee. All right, so we're going give to uh, give this a go here. Like I said, this is a modded version. I might have to drop the volume down on it. It's a modded version of Minecraft. And I just felt like, you know, uh, mixing it up a little. You know, I might need to plug these into the computer, though, so I can hear if there's anything that I need to keep. Uh, headphone jack. Obviously, I think it's that one, right? I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever really used the headphone jack on these before. Not on my computer, anyways. But yeah, I just I felt like taking a small break. I don't know if these two boxes are they're gonna show. No, they don't show. Okay. Options. Let's. Good sounds there. All right. Mass volume mod. Music that's trying to get up under there. Oh, 30%. Yeah, it worked. Okay. Right, we're going to start a whole new world in this because you see, I got Pokey Zombie there. That was me. That's me a little bit too much. I'm not going to do that. This is going to be called Street Mode. hear anything on my headphones so I don't know if it's actually loading up or not oh yeah so this is a fan made mod all trademarks and copyright for Pokemon belong to them okay yeah that happened way too fast you know you guys aren't seeing any of this yet hold on that one there we go and now it should go bam let me make sure looks like it's working hell yeah all right i still can't hear anything though out of my headset here so hold on make sure the volume volume's at 100 a head the headset check doesn't work on that Oh, we'll give it a try. Maybe, I mean, I don't really need headphones for this because uh, there are no creepers. There are no zombies, no skeletons, no endermen, nothing. It is purely the world of Pokemon. All right, so 
Thank you for solving this for starter Pokemon. All right, so we've got Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, Gen 6, Gen 7, Gen 8. We got Puppy Love! So that's Sword and Shield, or Sun and Moon right there. Now, of course, I would prefer to start with an Eevee, but you always start out with either a Grass, Water, or Fire-type Pokemon. I am personally going to probably start out with a Fire-type. Probably Litten, because Litten that is the one I used on my other ones. So that's why I'm like, eh, maybe I don't use Litten, but Litten's really good. You know what? Let's do it for shits and giggles. Bye now! Begin your adventure. Okay, so, yeah, it looks like your basic Minecraft world. Yeah, I'm not hearing anything. He's got like a jack in the front here. They do. Hold on. Sweet. I could just plug them right into my speakers. All right. So yeah. All right. So these berries are very important. We make sure we pick those right away. Those apricots. All right. So I'm gonna open up the map here. All right. So we're in an extreme hill. I think we're gonna head over here, uh, which I didn't look at which direction that was. Behind us. Shuckle. I thought about just using the world that I already have created with uh, me and woman. Magic Arps! Just because I thought it would be cool to, uh, you know, we've, I've already got like my, uh, my, my Litten has already, you know, evolved twice. And I've already gotten some fossils I found and, uh, got a pretty good team mostly dark pokemon i've only seen one eevee because they're extremely rare i guess or they're just rare uh, i'm just trying to find i want to find a nice grassy spot this looks like a nice hooded forest over here <sighs> now eevees are supposed to spawn in the uh birch forest areas um but ghastly's will spawn in a hooded forest. Now, again, Eevee's my favorite, but I do love ghost-type Pokemon, and uh, man, there is such a, there's a huge discussion uh, on one of the Minecraft episodes from Achievement Hunter, where Matt Bragg, you know, is talking about all the really, I mean, Pokemon's really fucking dark if you really get into some of them. Like, you know, some of them are actually like, dead kids, dead people, and there's a mummy that like kills you and you become a slave to it. I mean, it's there's just so many dark Pokemon. That's you know, the zombies a horror guy. So, alright, I'm just trying to find us a nice spot for a base and see if I can collect at least one of every one of these. These are used, you cook them down, and this is how you make Pokeballs. Uh, you need aluminum or iron. And we're going to have to make a... See, this is why I thought about doing it in my, the world me and woman are because I already made it. There's an anvil and there's an auto anvil. And oh my god, does the auto anvil save you so much fucking time. Uh, we are in Norna... Teaga? Biome? Just, I'm really trying to decide where I want to live here. Ooh. Is that what I think it is? Ooh. Sorry, just, but I think it's way, way higher level than... No, it's a level 7. Uh, 
this this game is like it's a really good Pokemon mod. I mean, I'm glad like Nintendo kind of finally gave because originally this when it first came out a long time ago, Nintendo kind of told it to go fuck itself, uh, and they tried to take it down. And then they've kind of been really cool and chill about it coming back. Oh, there's the cool. We need black ones. We need yellow next. <clears throat> but yeah, so Nintendo's been kind of chill about them uh, making it. And as you've seen, it's continually updated. The mod community for this is amazing. Wooloo? Or Wooloo? There's some wood. But yeah, they've, like... I'm glad they let him do it, because like I said, this is... It's actually a really good mod. And yeah, I'm using a fucking apricot to, uh, or apricorn to mine wood. Legendaries that'll show up. Ooh, this is. A ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, there's a Meowth. I like this area. I think we're going to come over here a little further. We might go back to that spot back there. Oh, no, this is a little bit better. It's got water. Weedle. Weedle. Bell sprout. Okay, Bell sprout. we're going to. We're going to. Oh, we don't have any Pokeballs yet, do we? No, we don't. Fuck. Bellsprout. I want to catch that Bellsprout because I, you know, very great plan. Okay, Pokemon to have. Is that a Mill Tank over there? Yeah, it's a Mill Tank. Don't take such a bitch Pokemon. Jump! Oh, there's a good field right there. Here, there's water and there's a good cave. Mm. Okay, I think we might go here. Let's clear this. I'm trying some new features out. Yes, things pop up on the screen here or over here. That'd be really cool. If not, I've got the other monitors up. Hopefully, it'll pop up too. All right, so. We need more wood. So let's go back over here and chop down some trees. I must have. Mm. Oh, this thing's gonna fight me. Alright. Water gun! Go. Pound! I'm gonna just get his ass handed to him. And Populous fainted. God damn it. That's why I always. Kind of a bitch Pokemon. Ekans. And that's a boss. It's a rare Ekans. So like I said, yeah, yeah, there's boss Pokemon. There's legendary Pokemon. Alright. Kind of has it all. So we're going to get, uh, get us a little house built here. And then we're going to uh, start working on making some machinery here. Because we need a Poke Healer now. You can find Poke Centers, uh, there is no joy. Uh, sometimes you just find the machine. The machine. So. got a message from Garrett. Uh, he, Garrett, as y'all know, uh, he has been doing Pokemon streams where, you know, you open the deck opening ones, uh, which everyone likes, which is really cool. Uh, and he actually, there's like one of the like be better known uh, streamers who does that popped into a stream, which was really cool. I mean, like amazing. And uh, I, 
was very jealous of that. But anyways, he sent me a message because he got a really adorable EV card, and he knows how much I love EVs. Where's we're just gathering a shit ton of wood because we're going to make that... The floor is 11 by 11. So, uh... We should almost have enough for just the floor. Why does it need to be so big? <laughs> because you run out of fucking room real quick. We ended up... Our, our house now is a three-tier house. Of snow here, maybe I'll switch over to mine and her. Since, you, know, you know, since I've shown you how it starts out, let's go ahead and see how many planks we got here. Oh, yeah, we got more than enough. Like regular, regular Minecraft, I'd be scared to list that it's getting uh, dark right now. But uh, like I said, there's no monster spawns, which I love. Though it does make like the Nether interesting. Hurry! I love building a new house and all this stuff. I really, I mean, I'm really contemplating switching over to our other one. I can come back to this one myself. I'm at least going to leave this last tab too. The problem with having two games on me at once on Minecraft, and I don't mean like simultaneously having them both up. We're talking like, I am currently, you know, so far ahead already that, you know, all this stuff feels tedious. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and switch. We're going to switch it over to, to the one that me and her play. There we go, Poké Zombie. I call it Poké Zombie! And, yes, we will be getting, see, hey, look, there's Nurse Joy. We will be getting back to, uh. Regular Minecraft, or not Minecraft, but uh, Dying Light tomorrow. We got the AMA tomorrow. All right, so I'm in a village here. And this is just a little outpost that me and a uh, wife made. It's in a roof forest. Well, this is river right here. Make my way from there, and now we're in the roof forest. Yeah, you can kind of see it over there in the distance. Yeah, this is just a little uh, world we built. Or a little outpost we built. And see, these are what I was talking about. You plant the berries. Now, you can plant them above ground, but I find it so much easier if they're down there. Because then you can pick them up. Alright, I have a fucking full inventory. that when she comes Ooh, yeah, I'll take that berry. okay so our home as you see all these little diamonds out here those are markers I've placed in the world uh, hold on. that way I don't get That's in trouble true. get in trouble for uh Copyrighted music there. I didn't think about that. Anyways, these markers are places I've been or like our original home. Motherfuckers need to buy a lot more. I'm joking. No, I'm not going to be mining anything while we walk here. And as you can see, I have. Uh, Incineroar, which is a lit third. 
I have a Dust Skull, a Lipard, a Shuppet, a Pidgeotto, and a Magikarp. Do I have a Magikarp? I like Magikarp. Plus Magikarp turns into the King of Carp. Turns into Gyarados, motherfuckers. I like Gyarados. She's a big motherfucker. I have an Onyx already, too. Like, yeah, I'll show you the when we get back to the house here, which is like 1,000... 500 meters from here but you, you will see I've dug paths through some of these mountains already and I label them so that wife I'm just breaking the grass so I have some yeah, you can tell if I've been somewhere because the berries haven't regrown yet and that's another thing uh, much like when you're in the nether in Minecraft uh what do we got on so we can get rid of Because I kind of want that bear. Fuck these seeds. There we go. I don't need more seeds. Let me have a red berry on us. Hold on. I'm going to switch this out so I know which berries I can pick up as I walk. And yes, that is a Pokemon machine that I have with me. I built it. Okay, yes. Yeah, see? Home. This way. I built this just so she has a quick way of getting through a mountain instead of going over it. There's several of those. And I build bridges across the river and stuff. I like to build things. So. Anyways, as I was saying. This is just a... Uh, oh, excuse me. A simple let's have fun kind of let's play today. I think this is a root forest here too. Yeah. So if we hung out here at night, there's a chance we could see a ghastly. I did see a ghastly in the nether, which is where you can commonly find them. Let me see. Home this way. Okay. Geodude. Always in my damn way. Oop. You know what? You're going to kill yourself, so I'm going to fight you. What's he going to do? Incineroar! Incineroar's going to use Fury Swipe. It wasn't effective, but it's not. How about this? How about we go... Magic card. Yeah. Magic card. Gorp, 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 gorp. Magic card. Okay, and let's see. Gorp, gorp, gorp. Gorp, gorp, gorp. We're going to use magic card. Gorp. Take my hands off the mouse when I do it because it seems to work gorp, better. Gorp, gorp. Bam! Geodude was sent to my party. Cinderator got an extra 190 points. I could switch out my uh Rug and Roller. Rug and Roller. My starter, but I'm not going to. Fuck you, Geo dude. Who are you? I already got one of you. Cause I like it when occasionally it's like something's like, oh I'm gonna fight you and Incineroar comes out and it's like, okay, let's do this. You're dead. This definitely has made me want to get back into Pokemon. Ooh, this is another root forest. Ooh, it's nighttime now. Keep our eyes out for a, a ghastly. Now these have berries that you can cook, which is I believe uh, something sword and shield. You could uh, make a camping site and cook stuff. Ah, or crow. Purple berry just go on the ground because it didn't go in my inventory. Where is that purple berry? What am I smoking? <laughs> Abra. I like how they use the uh, uh, Enderman teleport noise. Oh, for Abra. 
he's such a bitch too. Like I've been able to even throw a ball at him because he keeps disappearing. So he didn't have any room for the white one there. In fact, I actually think I have enough for the white one. All right, so this is a uh, super pokey center. I didn't know what it was when I first saw it on the map, so I just marked it as question marks. And I've just left it as it because I don't know what it is when I come back to it. Grab this black. Heal up our Pokemons. Uh, all right, I can show you because they have a computer here. They also have a trade machine. So if me and woman or any of you were playing with me, we could trade Pokemon. But this is the computer. All right, so I'm already on box five out of 30. Yep, I got a suck. Shuckle, another magic carp, another magic carp. I like magic carp. Cleft fairy. I wish you could. Wow, you can actually just throw them in a garbage can. I never noticed that. Wow, that's kind of cold. I wish you could arrange them by their gens. Uh, there's one I was looking for. Psyduck. Doug Trio. Trio, Trio, Trio. There's an Onyx. Here's a Geodude we just caught. There's a Glen Lau. Dual Blade. Esper. Literal Upheave. But yeah, and that's a trade machine. These assholes out here in the water are just, uh... Gurp, gurp, gurp. Gurp, gurp, gurp. Gurp, gurp, gurp. Magic gurp. I like magic gurp. I always did. I always thought it was cool. Ooh, I don't think I have one of these. Gurp, gurp, gurp. Incineroar! I don't want Incineroar out. I'll shove it out. Incineroar! There we go. What did I do? Right. Hex. Hopefully it doesn't kill him right away. Oh, good. Perfect. So it's a sandy gas. Alright. Well, let's see here. Pokeball. Which is a great ball. Boom! And we caught him. I'm not even going to try for that spin arc because uh, I would kill it. Now, if you're wondering, why did that one look so small? Sometimes you get these ones that are like dwarf Pokemon. Uh, or Pygmy, I think is what they call them. Uh, it's a glitch that they let happen. Yeah, I highly recommend you watch the uh, the Achievement Hunter guys when they did their playthrough of this. Uh, even though it has Brian in it. Because uh, Gavin Free Squirtle is so small. He ends up naming it worthless, which is kind of mean. All right, so. But, yeah, I think my Squirtle was small, but then he, like, unglitched when he became a War Turtle. I know a woman has, uh, she prefers water Pokemon, I think. She really has, doesn't have much of a type. She just kind of, uh, like, she's not a big fan, so. I was, I was happy she was going to play it. We beat Stone Block, basically. Well, we didn't beat it. We finally got to the point where we did all the uh, Project E stuff. And all right, I'm going to try to build a Draconic Reactor, which is something I have messed around with but never successfully made. Finally successfully made it, got it charging and everything. And then I, I uh, accidentally opened my gate way too much, and it blew up, which caused destabilization. Which, instead of blowing up my world, 
caused my game to lag to death. Uh, that's fetched or far fetched, right? Yeah, it's far fetched. I already got a far fetched. But yeah, it caused it to uh, suffer lag death. Uh, we, if we spawned and got up to the end, which is two dimensions higher than uh, uh, stone block, because you go regular dimension, then above it's the mining dimension. Above that is the uh, the end. You literally just dig your way up. But uh, or then once you get a translocator like I did, you just teleport. But anyways, uh, if we got we successfully got all the way up there, saved the game, reloaded it, no lag because it's a different dimension, so it doesn't count, and like the reactor just froze in time while we're on. So uh, this is another pokey center. This is the first one, and yes, that is a lava uh, fountain over there. I built it for funsies. It's kind of a marker for me. I know that I've been here. That's perfect. But anyways, we, yeah, we beat that. Since we've done Skyblock 3, and we did Skyblock 4, we're not a big fan of Skyblock 4. Uh, or Sky Factory, sorry. Sky Factory 3, Sky Factory 4. So we thought about doing Galactic Craft. Uh, and uh, the newest version of Galactic Craft, they took out so much shit. That it's just not fun to play at all. Like, I it was going to make a coal generator, and it's like, oh, you're going to have to go to the nether and get this stuff. And I'm like, at the start of the game, one of the simplest generators, you're going to make me go do that. Yeah. Fuck off. So we we both kind of agreed that one was shit. Yeah. Like I said, I've had this one queued up for over a year. Who's going to do it? Miltech. All right. Fire Fang. Watch how quick this fucking cow dies. Boom. Incinerator does or incinerator doesn't fuck around. I know I gave Litten shit when uh he first came out, but man, is he a good one? So, sorry, I was saying bah. reloading my chat messages because it didn't want to load. And yes, you get beef and leather from him. <laughs> When you kill them, you actually get stuff, and some of it is food, so you're actually eating the Pokemon. And there's dimensional rifts that pop up all over. Usually that means there's a... Boy, fuck out of the way, I was so tired. Anyways, uh, usually means there's a, uh, uh, a boss Pokemon nearby. Should be another uh, patch that, uh, path coming up here soon that I dug, I thought. Metapod. Metapod. There's a Metapod. There's Pikachu. Metapod. Pikachu. Let's see if Pikachu gets ass kicked by a shuffet. Shadow Sleep. Well, Pikachu didn't have a chance. All right, yeah. See, here's, here's a little path that goes this way. Rock and roller. Rock and, rock and roller. roller. Sorry, he says rock and roller. I feel so bad for this thing. Fury swipe. Oh. It's more like that little bird Pokemon saw what it decided to fight and went, oh. And then it was dead. <sighs> now, one thing I do think is kind of sad about this version compared to like actual Pokemon games, you're not a 10 year old trainer and your mom's not banging the professor while you're out catching Pokemon. Uh, there's no real story behind this one. Uh, you're just kind of exploring. Though I do have a you can pick up quests, and I have one right now where I'm taking these crystal and I'm doing things with it. I don't know what I'm doing with it. Incineral! Incineral. Yeah, like, I think I need to go fight uh, some trainers right now, which is what we'll do next.
We are heading home. We're only 78 meters away. We should be coming across some more bridges on mine. Yeah, I see some over there. Yep, there's one. This is the... To find fossils, you have to dig up under cobblestone. So I went down there and dug up cobblestone, and then I fucked the water off. All right, so yeah, this is our home. Okay, so as you see, I've got apricots. Uh, I fell off my homemade bridge. I prefer being up on the top to get them because it doesn't always seem like you get them when you're below. But when you're on top of them, you seem to always get them. So that's why you'll see I have them buried in the back because this is just a small section. Yeah, shit, we're full. Okay, I'll be back. Ooh, wait a minute, hold on. Chest, I can just throw this shit in here. Slime balls, match. And, uh, that's good. Grab those. If you're wondering, you know, like, hey, I've played Pixelmon. I've never seen, you know, some of these things. I did add, uh, what am I looking at mod? And I did add... Uh, JEI and inventory tweaks and I added Pam's Harvest Craft. And just because uh, I enjoy having some different cooking options while I'm playing Minecraft. Great. Just trying to harvest all these real quick. Uh, we can throw that redstone in her chest. Oh, right this way. There it is. Again, I think it's it's like you you get a better chance of getting them when you're on top. These here are actually part of the pixel map. chair and the umbrella I made and this is the backyard now again if I leave too far past it it won't load the chunk anymore so uh, they won't grow there's the carrots Oh, there's a, yes, yeah, some of these haven't even grown in blue, that's what I mean. These aren't even all the way across. So it's two down to plant these. Uh, that's red. There we go. And then I have, this row of furnaces is set up, so like, okay, those are white. These are for yellow. This one is coal. These are for blue. These are for pink. Green. Black. And red. We're going to take the red. Uh, the black. This is my house. Down here, we'll start at the basement. This started out as just a place to grow mushrooms, so I can make mushroom stew. But then we kind of connected it to our cave. Well, I connected it to our cave. So. That's right. Connects this really cool underground fucking gorge quarry thing, but it's actually connected to the mine that you see outside. Where is that Geo dude? So, let me continue showing around the house here. Alright, so this is our food chest. Mm. Potions and. So it looked like dildos, but they're guards, weapons, and apparently that one's 
full so I can put it in there. And yes, you'll notice I've made all of these balls here, which is what I'm going to do right now too. So this is my collection here. All right, so if I got 20 of those, I can take out that. Ultra discs. I need to call. I'm gonna switch this out though for now. All right, so the, that's the auto anvil. Before you'd have to put it on here and just ping, ping, ping with a stupid shit. And then that's the cooking pot, which I saw talking about. That's the fossils. That's to make fossils. So that's kind of our downstairs and our basement. So you come around. That's the mine I was talking about, by the way. Uh, it's just yeah. Where I've been throwing all my extra Pokeballs I've made. Uh, so this is the bedroom. Uh, my bed. My bed, because I like pink. That's a Pikachu mug I found. Uh, and that's where I got a bunch of these rare candies and things. I'm going to throw that thing up there. Uh, Crystal needs to go downstairs. You just, so. And yes, these are sharp. I want to throw that guest here. And these can go downstairs. That can go there. That can go there. Got like, uh, okay, all the rest of that goes back downstairs. This is just shit I've collected. Some of it's really cool, some of it's not. Anyways, yeah, that's so that's the three story house basement. Ground floor and second floor. Seven of those, seven of those, seven of those. Damn. You need nine to make uh, a, like a fire stone and stuff like that. And I want to make a water stone to evolve. Uh, uh, fuck, my brain just broke. Magic card. I have yet to find out what you use these for. Trust your heart is back. I haven't seen a pair of them. Block a ruby, a ruby sword. Magma laser. Reveal blast. That would actually be cool. I have sapphire. I have an emerald. I have two crystals. Interesting. What about where's the other one? Sapphire. Let's see what it does. Aquasis. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Aluminum, silicon, iron, flint. Bring these back down here. Needle. Smart and pre-cooked stone. So to make a Pokeball, you make the lid and the base, which are called discs. You then put them on the anvil, and it'll make them into the base and lid. Then you gotta use a stone button, and there you go, Ultra Balls. That's why I'm willing to throw out an Ultra Ball and not fret it, because it's like, I have a shit ton of them. I try to keep them all. Which one was missing there? Yellow was missing. Hmm. Ooh, I should have yellow. I have my chest organized for a reason. Let's see, that's white, that's yellow. I'm just going to grab seven of them and throw them in the chest real quick. So it sounds like the power ample is done. Yep, alright, so we can make two more. Oh, here, we'll throw these back on so they finish up. So 
We have so many Ultra Balls. Okay, so now I'm going to pull up my map. You can see this, I'm going to zoom it out. This is everywhere I've been. I've been way up here exploring. Got in a boat and explored some areas. This is where we were when we started. Right there at that. Right there at the tree house. Let's see. I don't know if you can actually see it because the trees, but yeah, there's, oh, there's the dock I built, so yeah, and there's the stone bridge I started that looks like a penis. But anyways, uh, we know, I think I need to turn around. I have been thinking about exploring. Okay, that's deep ocean down here. Beach. Let's go this way. So, is that that way? I'm trying to see where we are here. There we are. Okay, so I think it's that way. Yep. So, we're just going to start wandering this way. On our quest to find Eevee. Yeah. A mortal. I don't know if I have one of those. Let's find out. Oh, I do. Shadow Sneak. Oh, no, you poisoned me. Okay, well then let's... Now, I don't carry any of the potions around that anyone else probably does. I'm switching to magic cards because I'm trying to manipulate some people. Oh, and he got his ass handed to him right away. The skull. The skull. The skull. Nightshade. The skull. Some more mushrooms. Or I get those, I just kind of pick them and let them grow. All right, we're gonna run back to the house real quick and heal up. No. I'm really just trying to level up my magic carp. Ah, and yes, I'm carrying a healing machine, but I don't know if you break, put it down and if you break it, if you get it back, or if it just, just dies. And I don't want to risk it. I do need to make a few more because. Every time you make it a, like a device, it seems you get a piece of the uh, Porygons. And uh, I'd like to collect all of those. So, anyways. Where are we at? Ooh. Coffee. Coffee. I think I already have a coffee, but we're going to go ahead and fight him anyways. Coffee. Coffee. And hex kill. I do want to get a wheeze. Wax, I have a big ass thing. Now, sometimes you'll see, like, super. Oh, good, there's a trainer. We're going to fight this trainer. I don't think we're going the right way anymore. Wheezy, oh, that's a wheezy. Ah! Got my crow. Wheezy, ah! Level 35 wheezy. Alright, uh. I'm just gonna try. Ultra ball on his ass. Uh, let's see. Let's switch because I don't want to kill him. Uh. Pidgeotto? Wheezy Wee. Pidgeotto! And we'll use a tackle. I just want to injure him. Wheezy Wee. Pidgeotto! 
want to use a whirlwind on you then, asshole. Okay. We're going to switch to a different one. Uh, let's try that fucking one. Just crash. Nice. Found something that just, just does a little damage. What about Fury Spike? Don't kill him, don't kill him. I have to worry about fairy swipes because sometimes he just goes crazy. Alright. Oh, all, hands off. Fingers crossed. This fucking guy in the shorts. I gotta fight him next. Furry swipe. Or fury swipe. Come on, motherfucker. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. God. Oh no. Hurt by poison. Poison. And fainting. Okay. Let's send out Dusk. Dusk. And we'll nightshade his ass. Hopefully it doesn't kill him. Poison. Oh, we knocked him down. Good, good, good. Stop there. Stop there. Ultra ball. Dusk. Dusk. Yes, we caught him. Fuck yeah. Nice. All right, where's that trainer asshole? Set up shuffle. Oh, you're going to use a little fish? Okay. Pass. Oh no, Gorbis Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball. Oh, that's a oh no, that's a fungus one. Wingo. Wingo doesn't have a chance against us! Who are you gonna sit up next? <laughs> Stupid fool, God. I already have one of him, so come on, kill him. Or we actually have a challenge on our hands. Shelter. 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 Ooh, let's see. Embargo. This move prevents the target from using its held item. Mm. This trainer is also. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to give up. Not when it comes to Shadow Ball. 
Oh shoot, he knocked him out. All right, uh, dust ball. Dust ball. Nice shit. Tackle Magikarp. Yeah, Magikarp. Damn! That trainer out of this our asshole. Good job, mate. Uh, where's our house? <laughs> we gotta head back to the house to have a heal. We didn't get far from the house, though. So. So, I'm probably going to take a quick break here. Shut this door. They, they usually don't fight you in the house, but sometimes they do. So, uh, so we're going to take a quick break. Uh, let's see here. This is a PC. There we go. All right. Share the EP. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we will be right back. Go to our normal break screen. Nothing's changed. I don't know what these are. I don't know if I can turn these off. Uh, let's see. They're wondering what we're doing here. I'm trying to figure out why this isn't, why these things are popped up. Uh, maybe it was under this. Ha, ah, there we go. Okay. So yeah, those, those boxes were annoying. Yeah, they show up as just black boxes. Okay, so yeah, that was annoying. We'll just take them out. All right, so we'll be back in a few minutes, everybody. <laughs>
silly microphone. It did not want to unmute. All right. So we are back. Uh, these monitors went in sleep mode, apparently. A little bit extra. There we go. All right. There we go. Hey, All right. So let's see here. We healed up our Pokemon. We're going to keep heading. We're going to try not to get our asses handed to us again. This pisses me off. See this fucker right here? They will land on your field and crush the crops and destroy them. That's why there's spaces here and here. It's because fucking there's an owl that does them the most. He's a fucking asshole. All right, so we're gonna kind of try to get over here. Ow! Our map shows we're going to have to go for a little swim before we get to the next island. Oh, there's a fucking... Looks like there's something over there. We might even get to a Poke Gen. I've already beat the water gym that was over in that one village. And that might not be a gym. It might just been a big tree. We're trying to find more. The water gym was fucking easy. He pulled out a gold bean. And then he like did the mega evolve thing that they can do. Again, I think that is something that came with Sword and Shield. It wasn't like the uh, Sun and Moon bracelet attack thing. I forgot that. Z-Power. It wasn't one of those. It was... It was like... Yeah, he just grew like 500 feet bigger than... Or Goldene's a girl, so she. But she was no match for... Uh, my Pokemon, and that trainer was no match for nothing. I mean, after after Goldine, he literally had nothing worth fighting. I mean, it was like one hit kills. All right, so we made it up to the top of this. Some pretty cool rock formations. I don't know if I have this big one yet. Charcoal. Uh, let's see here. Do we got our shepherd ready? Go. Oh, I must have already been here. Ooh, no, I don't have one of these. All right, Shadow Snake. I say this is a dark fire Pokemon, if I remember right. So it might actually cause some problems. But we should be able to. Ultra Ball is ass. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bloop. Two. Three, four, and eight. Uh, let's try a hex on him, but hopefully it doesn't kill him. Ooh, that knocked him down nice. And let's, use, let's use that Ultra Ball now. I wish you actually had a bag you can make to carry the Pokeballs in a separate thing. Nice, we got him. Rock bottom. <laughs> Jamango. I don't have him. Alright, uh Fury Swipe. Cineroar! It's in a roar. Let's try a fire thing on him. It's probably gonna fire. <laughs> nope, it didn't. But let's try a ball now. Roar! Roar! Bloop. Alright. Fire fang. <laughs> I can keep using status effects on it. It's really gonna affect my guy. really need to finish level up my uh, Pidgeotto. Because once you have a flying Pokemon who's at the third evolution, you can fly them. 
if they're ones that are big enough. Incineroar! Sooner or I'm furious for one. Try to get him down to the red. <laughs> there we go. Now we should have him. Oh, please don't. Please don't fail this thing. Sooner or Let's try a great ball on him. Sooner or Ah, <sighs> motherfucker escaped. This is why I have so many of those berry trees at, at my house. Incineroar. 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 Come on, come on, come on. Catch him, catch him, catch him. Come on. Got him. Fuck yeah. But yeah, that's why I have so many of those berry trees at my house. What did I get? Oh, I got a rare candy. You know what? I think I have to do it in a battle. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't let me do anything. I have one of those at home already. Sooner or <laughs> Oh, that poor thing didn't survive. Take off. Cole's always going to Saves me from mining. Which I'm really trying not to do on this playthrough is a lot of mining. Uh, especially because, you know, this is a shorter Let's Play. It's just kind of... Like I said, I just need a break from... Blood fountains and killing zombies. Yeah. Well, that's how tired of it. It's just that, you know. It's just sometimes I, that's why I usually take the weekends off, like Friday or Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off. And me and, me and the wife play Minecraft, or I'll play, you know, uh, Humans Fall Flat, or we play. What is that fucking. I wish we were in a hooded forest at night. We might be getting into it. <laughs> nope, he teleports in the corner. Oh shit. Ooh, that's a leaf stone down there.
Oh, and I don't have a fucking pickaxe on me. This way you'll see like some new crafting tables out in the world. Shit, I don't have any stone. That'll take a minute to break. I could make a wood pickaxe break for this and I can make a stone pickaxe, but that's just a waste of time. Ugh. So while we're breaking the stone, I'm gonna go over a little break right now. Okay, so oh, shit, we didn't get that stone. Did we? I got So I finally upgraded my phone because as I told you guys earlier, LG is no longer making phones. They're <laughs> Thanks for playing. It's like an eyeball. Anyway, so LG's announced earlier this year that they're gonna be uh, they're not going to. You know, I have an LG Rebel 4. I know it's an older phone, but I like it. It's simple. Even though I understand complex fucking programming shit, I hate programming shit. That being said, one thing I love about it is it's got this really cool phone app uh, for music player. It's basically just a simple music player. No ads, you can put your fucking playlist on there, you can shuffle the playlist, it'll give you the widget for when it's on the lock screen so you can pause it while you're driving. I mean, it's a really, there's trees, ooh, it's a really simple, uh, simple thing. Alright, so we're done with that already. That's why I didn't want to make one of those, because it's pointless. Anyways, uh, new phones don't come with that. New phones want you to download fucking... A million different apps, but they want you to use like Spotify, too, which Spotify is cool. Don't get me wrong. But when you make a Spotify playlist, it's not the same as making one on this app that I, this phone app that I like. Because on that phone app I like, I can put just the songs I want. I don't have to worry about listening to shit I don't want to hear. I don't have to worry about ads. I literally just get to listen to the fucking music I want when I want there's a trainer what is she oh she's level 35 I think she'd hand us our ass let's not deal with it. yeah you know what fuck it anyway so it really wow he just fucking punched the floor it really sucks because like this new one none of the phone apps that you can download. Zero. Okay. First off, let me let me be very clear. When you put a oh, slow king, when zero. you put into Google Play search, music player, no ads. Every one of them comes up with a fucking ad. It's so annoying. I don't want ads. And then I got I found a couple that didn't have ads, but or they say they don't have ads, but when you scroll through, like, it'll have your song, or your, Zero. yeah, like, song. It was like, okay, Mushroom Head, it had, like, in between, like, every third song was, like, an ad for Facebook. Like, join Facebook. Share this on Facebook. And it's like, fuck you, I don't want to. Um, I think I click scratch, yeah. Slow King's a, oh, he knocked him the fuck out. All right. I probably used my dust skull, but. There we go, Slow King's gone. Oh, fuck no. Yeah. Slurking's so got like one health and he's fucking up. Alright, nice. Ah, oh, skull. Use it. There. Fuck him. Clef fairy. fairy. But yeah, oh, so skull. it was just a giant hassle. So now what I've decided to do is I've just taken my own phone, old phone, oh, skull. and I'm using it as an MP3 player for when I'm driving or I'm doing housework and stuff. Because oh, it's skull. easier just to have that as an MP3 player and not a phone anymore. Because, again, it has problems with phone stuff. Thank you, LG. All right, we win. Bam. 2,240 Poké Dollars. Level 36. Dust Skull. Ooh, Curse. Oh, yeah. Okay, no. Well, we could replace Leer because Leer is a shit move. Curse kind of sucks. It takes half your health. But anyways, 
back to the phone rant. Uh, it's a lot easier for me just to use it as a phone or as an MP3 player and not as a phone. And then have my new phone as a phone. Which, why did you gotta, just gotta make phones so stupid? I mean, seriously. I was so glad because oh, wife has the same phone. She, We both got them on the same, well, within the same day. It was like one day apart, maybe. But I don't like the touch screen back button. Like, okay. This is my old LG. So let me put the codes in here. All right. So if I'm on Facebook, okay, this is my back button. This is my open app button. Right here in the center, I just click it, and it will take me to my home screen if I'm on something. But down here on the toolbar, they got this little white one. You hit that, there's all your apps. Now, my new one, and I'm not going to show you because it's busy doing shit. Anyways, it wanted to put the fucking back button on the right-hand side. No, that's forward. If it's on the right, it's forward. So, luckily, I was able to switch. And then, yeah, you have to swipe up to get to all the apps. Fucking hate that. I don't want to swipe up to get to the apps. I want to be able to go bloop, bloop when I'm not looking and pick the apps I want. Because I know where all my apps are because I place them in a strategic spot. Fucking junk new phones, I swear. All right, where are we? we are in a... Ooh, there's a Poke Center right there. Ah, Ooh, I don't have a crab. I'm just going to try to netball here. One of my biggest pet peeves is like sometimes, yeah, you'll throw the ball and you won't see where the ball is. Cool, I captured a Krabby. I did not have a Krabby. Sometimes, yeah, same with battles. Battles will go in like these weird spots and you don't know where they are anymore. Sorry, I'm going to move my mic over here so I can stop trying to lean over. But yeah, sometimes it's just like, I don't know. You think they would have went with almost like a better UI for the fights? How the fuck do I get in this Poke Center? It's weird. Sometimes, yeah, they'll be buried, like the entrance as well. Like there's one town I found, like half the shit was buried. Cool. Uh, heal up my Pokemon. Sometimes there's a Nurse Joy, sometimes there's not. Oh, I need to add that to the map. Where are we? I don't like that it does that. It's like, hey, you're at home. I'm not at home. I'm way up. The fuck am I? Am I here? Yeah, there I am. Okay. I add those waypoints so that, you know, if I'm ever out exploring, I can come back and be okay, there's a Poke Center in that general direction. Uh, let's see here. We've got a lot of water here. Let's make a boat. Which we have more than enough wood on us already. Cool. Another crafty table. And a boat. I love that it's the old recipe for the boat, not the new one that requires a sign. Alright, so we're just gonna head out this way. Continuing west, apparently. Now, I'd love to make an underwater potion because down there is water stones. But they're so deep that you will die trying to get them. There's also fossils down there. But again, need a water stone. Ooh, we got some land over here. Looks kind of like a beach forest area. There's a nice cave. We're going to go around the outskirts of it here. I'd like to find a desert biome. 
I mean, I know there's no EVs in deserts. It would just be nice to find. I think we might have. I think we might have found a desert. I don't know. That's like a mix because there's already ice and snow. Ooh, we could look for some ice Pokemon. And I fell in the water. My guy's frozen to death now. Alright, so let's see what kind of ice Pokemon we can find. It's weird. It's like, okay, so that blue thing looks really close, and then you turn them this way, and it's not. So these are just big-ass ice rocks. And if you break them, you don't gain anything. But if you had, like, an Eevee with you, and... Uh, some other type that can be an ice evolved, they get a bonus for being evolved near one of those. This is like a frozen desert. I'd love to find that mummy Pokemon. I don't even know if he's in here or not. Mommy. I mean, what's yeah, hold on. Pokedex is I. So here's your Pokedex for this, okay? So Actually, hold on. Let's go back up to the top. All right. So you got three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, he he he. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. All right, so it's 28 plus 2. It's 128. Yeah, so yeah, this is all the way up to current gen. What are you? Ooh, that looks like an ice gym over there. Level 37. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Can't see. Fine. Hex. Let's see if I can drop your ass down even lower. Now we use an electric ball on your ass. Come on. Stop it. What is he using? Grime. Stop. This one gets you down to the red. I don't want to kill you. And you're dead. Ice. Okay. Incineroar! Who's fighting me now? Alright. This should be an easy fight. Incineroar! And Incineroar says you're a bitch. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> I like him. Alright. Uh, so it looked like there was an ice gem over here. Yeah, pretty sure that's a gem. 
We got about 20 minutes. Nice if there's a village near the gym. I still want to catch one of these bastards. What is this? A frozen shrine. So this isn't a gym. This is like a weird shrine. Hmm. Let's mark that on the map. Fuck are we? Oh, there we are. Interesting. I know. I'm going to incinerate that. Incineroar. Roar! Roar! Swipe. Kill it. Oh, you killed it. It's probably some fish. Let's see what level this dickhead is. <laughs> A punkaboo. Sooner or. So we had plant, 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 dark. Oh, and Sinner is falling asleep. And Sinner Well, we will switch to. Let's... Uh, I hate when they do fucking energy drain moves. Alright, fucking twister then. This is not a good fight. Oh, hey, Supreme. How's it going? Escalera. I don't think I've seen one of those, unless I missed it. Did we walk past one of those, or did we miss it? Or is that what that shrine is? I honestly don't know what that shrine is. I said, I'm... I played Gen 1, 2, and 3 a lot, and then I kind of stopped. And I've always kind of kept an eye on Pokemon, but I never got... Ooh, there's another trainer over there. But awesome. Alright. I saw another trainer over here. There he is. I already got one of those, a flappy. Swine up. What? Whoa. Okay. Let's go take a look at this big motherfucker here. What is this? Well, he wants to fight me. <laughs> Fire Fang, Ice Boy. Oh, yeah, he's still sleeping. <laughs> That's alright. I'm just going to keep uh, spamming balls in the meantime. Until he wakes up. Incineroar! 
If I catch him right on the first time. Okay, I was going to say that would be awesome. I know, and I didn't bring him with me. There, Zero. I do have balls for uh, for ice types. I, just, I did not bring them with me. I forgot what they were. <laughs> How do you avoid the attack? He's sleeping. The, the blizzard just went right over him. We're going to throw a great ball on accident. Oh, well. Incineroar! <sighs> yeah, the only balls I have been able to figure out yet are uh, beast ball. You know, he might be a heavy. I could probably, Let me see if I've got a heavy ball. <laughs> Let's try a safari. I think safari is the bug ball. ball, but we'll try it. Yeah. I think if I hover over him, it tells me what do what. No, I don't want to switch. I want to go. No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, ultra. I like my ultra balls. Roar. Sinner is still asleep. Incineroar. Oh, he woke up, and now he's going to use Ember, and he's going to fuck you up. And he's going to use Ember again. Oh, you went to sleep and regenerate? Fire Fang then, bitch. Incineroar. Fire Fang again. And one more Fire Fang. And now we'll ball your ass because you're sleeping. Oh, you fucking. I hate when they regain health. This is bad as a fucking mill tank. I hate mill tanks. Mill tank does its stupid drink milk thing. Here, we're going to try a ball while it's hurt and sleeping. Cineral. You're asleep now. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah! Fuck okay, yeah, and where'd that trainer go? Did you run off? You saw me beat that big guy? What do you got? Come here. There we go. Sooner or Really? Oh, he threw it out. Okay, okay. I was going to say, really? Sooner or Sooner Ooh, you could defeat three Pokemon of a certain type. Your Pokemon also is. Uh, I think that's part of that gem, that magic stone, star stone I got from someone. It doesn't really tell me, like, do we have, like, a. Ooh, maybe right here. You found a keystone. How do you want to equip it? I've already got one of those. Okay. No, no. Okay, give me back my rare candy. I know. I've never knew, like, really paid attention that there was this. I know. Oh, so that's a Z bracelet right there. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what those other two are. Like, there's so much stuff I don't know from the new stuff here. I know. Put that on him. Back on him. What's that? That's a PP up? Nah, we don't need a PP up. Alright, so. So, we're heading this way. It's another good thing about. Oh, wait a minute. Frozen Shrine is that way. So, yeah, we're heading this way. Incineroar! Level ball, because I think we're high enough level that it'll just fucking capture it. Roar! 40 versus, is this like 23? 27? Yep. Yeah, level balls are awesome, because you yeah, have, when you're such a high level, it just, it's pretty much a guaranteed. I still wish I knew, I wonder, is there... Trying to see. You. 
from another wasp. Ooh. I don't know how you're supposed to do that, because there aren't animals in this. Did that. The same with these gas ones. We'll use another to try. Let's see, I think I've got all the Pokeballs made. Yeah. I think I got this one almost done too. Catch 10 bug. Yeah. I think, anyways. Oh, so there's the Minecraft ones. Which I'd love to get to the end. I just don't know if you can actually get to the end of this. I think you can because you can get to the nether. Swine up. Swine up. Yeah, brace yourself because you're about to get bitch smacked. Sooner or all. Incineroar. And now you're going to get put in a little ball. Uh, we'll use it all. Because you're only seven levels, so that's not that great. Roar! Incineroar! If I remember right now, and then again, this is from old gen poke. Uh, I don't know... It used to be level 100 was the top level that you could go, or level 99 even, maybe. But, uh... Bergmite. Bergmite, alright. I don't know if that's changed. Incineroar! Something I should probably figure out. Incineroar! Oh, son of a bitch. Yep, we got him. Ooh. Something just popped up, but I didn't see it. I'm trying to see here. Let's see here. Okay, that's cool. Oh, here you go. Let's join the zombie army. Well, thank you for joining the zombie army. I appreciate that. And biology tells you that you're 7% water. Chemistry tells you you're 6% oxygen. Physics tells you you're uh, but I tell you. Oh, well, thank you. I'm doing pretty well. How are you today? We're just uh, messing around in the world of Pixelmon here. Kind of just exploring. This is the world that me and my wife play on. So I'm already a little further in it than most people would be starting out. We tried. I tried starting out a new one, but I was just like, nah, we're just going to get to this. All right. Well, we kind of reached the end of this area, so let's get our boat gone. Uh-oh. Bunch of sugar king on the ground. Might as well grab that up. You never know when you need that. And throw it in there. All right. So it looks like we got more ice over here. I said I'd like to find a nice roofed forest area, but I think we're just heading more and more into the Arctic. Are you going to come fight with me? No? Okay. I don't want to crash the ice. I hate traveling in these boats. Because if you touch the mouse at all, it gets... Oh, oh, hello, what are you? Is that a gym, everybody? I'm not way, Wilmer. All right, let's see if I... It's a gym today. Okay, so that's our... One of our three goals. Swine up. I'm doing... In 1952, muscle Swine truck, up. like 200... That's not bad. That's not bad. <clears throat> I bought two trucks back in March. Uh, 96 Dodge Dakotas. 700 bucks for both of them. And I've been working on swapping the motor. Because one has shitty motor. But great condition. The other one's rusted the fuck. And, and uh, whoa. What's all this fun stuff? Rusted to hell. And has a great motor though. So I got to swap out the motors on them. Oh, that's why. Okay, so stick would knock back sword for some reason. Expert belt. Empty maps. Those are worthless, really. Uh, some white carpet. We don't need that. 
Yeah, it was pretty. It was a pretty nice catch. I just I got to get out there and finish sw swapping the motors out. Sucks to do because I don't have a garage. I have a concrete slab surrounded by mud. Because the geniuses before me decided to tear down the garage. So this is just an empty wooden building. That's what I'm getting from this. I mean, some nice TV looking. Or is this a shrine? Wooden trap door. Yeah. But I know how we're getting out of here. I guess not. So. Oh, more chest. Focus sash, we'll take that. We'll take another sword. Some more sticks of knockbackiness. Uh, let's see here. We can get rid of that string. Oh, this chest. More wooden sword with sharpness and expert belt. Uh, shit. Get rid of that eyeball. What's in the box? What's in the box? All right, so let's put this focus sash on you. Expert belt on you. We'll give you that, and we'll give you an expert belt. There we go. Just so they're out of my inventory. Okay. I just do it. I could do that, but like I said, one of the engines is actually like great. I started it up; it ran. The only thing was when they the frame was so rusted, they decided to weld I beams to it, and when they did that, they like messed up the steering so you can't turn left at all like the steering will not turn left so that one is completely junk body wise now the other one's body is great condition frames beautiful all new exhaust system all new suspension on it motor shot so i just need to take the motor from the shitty truck to this truck and i've got i've almost got the one motor out i mean it literally has two bell housing bolts holding onto it it's just it's been raining here non-stop I just haven't felt like going out in the mud and working. But I need to, though, because my other car, whenever it rains, it's like, man, I don't feel like running today. So. so. But, yeah, I need to really, I need to get out there and work on them. Ooh, is that just a Pokeball? Sometimes you will find items out in the wild. Ooh, X special attack. Nice. Uh, I think we will. We were going this way. I already got one of those silly things. No, no, no. I I was originally going to just drive the rust around and one around because I just need a backup truck. But yeah, with its steering being so screwed up that it's just not worth fixing it. But I want the motor out of it. And the other one, yeah, it's body is great. The interior sucks because... On a Dodge Dakota, to take out the ignition, you use two T20 screws, and it brings the plastic casing out. And then there's two more T20 screws. It takes the whole ignition column out. The idiots who tried to fix this beforehand took hammer to plastic and then hammer to ignition column. So I had to already take the ignition and everything out of the other truck and put it into this and rebuild the whole thing. Luckily, I'm smart enough and have the tools to take it apart. I don't know why the hell they would do that. They were geniuses is the only thing I can come up with. I mean, they must have tried working on this truck before. Ooh, I don't have one of those. But there's something purple over there. What's that? Ooh, that's a Mareep. Legendary. Let's go fight the Mareep. Yeah, they must have tried working on it because, like, half the bolts were loose. And different sizes. And I don't know, it's, it's been kind of a hassle when I am out there working on it. Ooh, he's a level 70. He's going to kill us. Yeah. Incineroar! Incineroar, you just got put to sleep. Now, you cannot catch the legendary. Incineroar! Ah, uh, shit. Maybe a lab part. No, I think it was just two guys working on it and i don't think they had ever worked on a vehicle before because when i went and bought it from sure. the guy like yeah we were gonna switch the motor out we just got tired of doing it and yeah it was like i got into it and i'm like okay i'll give you 700 bucks for both of these you're dumb though don't ever touch another car in your life please we're just getting our butts handed to us here 
Ah, we're going to lose this battle. We should never have been went up against him. But yeah, yeah, seriously, uh, that's how I found out how to do it was a YouTube video. I looked how to take out the uh, ignition piece, and then, yeah, it was like, I just do this, and it's good. Keckle. Dude, oh, I was going to say, if my magic carp ends up winning, that'd be great. Oh, come on. That sucks. We had him down so low that if the curse would have just kept fighting him. Uh, right now, it's just, I'm mean, just playing it for fun today. I usually play horror games, and I just felt like taking a day off from them. And, like, during the weekend, I don't stream. I just play games with my wife. Like, her computer's right behind me, actually. And we've been playing, checking this out because we've been going through all the mods. We did Sky Factory three and four, and Stone Block two, uh, Galacticraft. We just kind of play with the mods and enjoy them and go through everything. And I've always been kind of a fan of Pokemon, so this is a mod I always wanted to try to play. She, on the other hand, not that big of a fan of it. So, uh, oh, where am I going? Let's see, home. Home is that way. So I finally talked her into playing it. So now we're just having fun. And like I was like today, I was like, yeah, I just need a break from chopping zombie heads off. And I just feel like, you know, doing this today for, you know, the two hours stream, which is almost over, actually. But yeah, I just felt like, you know, let's walk around and let's try to maybe catch an Eevee or get to a gym. So. And so far, we've caught a bunch of other Pokemon. We still haven't seen an Eevee, because they only appear in the Birch Forest areas. This is obviously the Frozen Tundra. So, how's World War Z going? World War Z is going okay. Uh, I beat all of New York the other day. And then started out the next one, but I only played it for like five minutes, and I had to go. Like, I really... I, I wasn't expecting to go anywhere, but then my wife was like, Hey... My brother's birthday. We're going out. And I'm like, okay, I guess. I don't really want to, but okay. So we went out, and I kind of haven't touched it. I really want to get a crew together for a fun stream of that sometime. Uh, we got to go around this way. Like I said, I gotta can't get blaze rods from blazes in the nether because they don't exist. But there are some Pokemon that you can kill that will drop blaze rods. Because then I can make an enchanting table. And then I could go underwater and not drown. Hold on, hold on. Oh, did the sparkles go away? No, no, there they are. Oh, that's just a penny on. Okay. Sometimes those sparkles are items. We might have to get out of our boat and walk over that way. Ah, where'd my boat go? I think it went all the way to the bottom. I think I just lost my boat. Oh, there it is. Okay, quick, get up there before you drown. Oh, so close. Yeah, yeah, I learned that with my first one. And that's why, you know, I do a lot of stuff for her. She does a lot of stuff for me. This one does. I mean, she's actually probably one of the most chill ladies I've ever met. Good. Like, she'll literally just hang out here in the studio and let me play games all day, all night, and not care. Uh, I will say, and I joke with her about this all the time, she just needs to learn how to cook. She can't cook. I'm saying that because I know she's watching, so... <laughs> Well, let's see here. We're actually almost we're a little past when I want to quit, but we're going to go ahead and try to 
get back to the house and heal up our Pokemon. We're about a thousand meters away. And jump boat. There's the shrine we found earlier. I still gotta figure out what that shrine is. There's a bitch train. Why are you swimming in the Arctic Ocean? I understand the ones that are swimming down by the house area, because that's like nice and tropical, but these fools? No. Make sure we're still going the right way. And again, for those who don't know, all these beams you see in here, these are markers I've placed on the map. Actually, we could probably go to that Poke Center instead of home. Wow, that one there's... That's where my wife is right now. It's all the way over at that gym area. <laughs> oh yeah, we could go to this Poke Center and heal up and that'll be the end of the stream. Instead of trying to make it all the way home. I wish they made it to, like, would add that in Minecraft where you get out of the boat and you just click the boat instead of having to break it every time. Small things like that that I wish they'd fix. And heal. Bing. All right. Well, there we go. And we'll end up just staring out at the ocean from the roof of the Poke Center. So we'll stand on the Pokeball. All right, well, there we go, everybody. Uh, like I said, just a fun little stream today. Kind of having fun. Wanted to catch an Eevee. We didn't catch an Eevee. I'm sad about that. Uh, that's all right. I have my Eevee right here. She's wearing her mask. Eevee's my favorite. Oh, well. All right, well, everybody, thank you for stopping by. I greatly appreciate it again. Tomorrow we will be back to, you know, chopping heads off of zombies and things like that. Uh, also, tomorrow is the Dying Light AMA with the developers. Um, I haven't seen the time yet. Let's pull that up, actually. Uh, maybe we'll find out a time for that. Let's see here. Uh... These are all the ones from, like, April. Oh, uh, where would I want to check that? Oh, let's just go to Techland. Duh. There we go. Techland. Bam. All right. So, yeah, there's the release date, obviously. Let's see. News. The Rust event does end tonight at midnight. So if you are playing, make sure you get in and get the stuff. Uh, I have to jump in on the PC so I can get the C4 blueprints real quick. So I actually need to do that after the stream. But yeah, you will get the blueprints for the C4. The four different elemental ones are supposed to be given to us a couple weeks after the thing. We beat the one million or whatever it was kills they wanted. We did that in the first four hours, I guess. So that's amazing. Uh, let's see here. I don't see anything about the, I don't, I don't see anything about it. Hold on. That's why I turned off. Yeah, it's going to be another dev conference. I'm trying to figure out where it is right now. Oh, let's take the risk. I'm trying to, there we go. I try to spin it really quick just because you never know when what people have posted on Facebook for their stories. 
Yes, the Rust event is going to be ending soon. Come on. I know someone just posted this the other day. I don't think there's a time frame for it yet. Uh, which yeah, if you if anyone plays Dying Light, you know this is this group right here. Make sure you get the one that has the picture there. Is probably one of the nicest groups for Dying Light and Dying Light Two info. They are also like community wise, probably some of the most n like non toxic. -y. I'm I'm just loading up all the pictures real quick. It'll be in there somewhere. Like they're like the most non toxic like group I've been in and there's several members who are content creators. Uh, there's several people who are daily players like nonstop. I mean, <sighs> that's wrong. I don't know who posted that picture. Okay. I cannot find it. Let's see, if I go to me, I know I posted, let's see, there's Eevee. Here it is. Dying to know tomorrow at 9 p.m. Central East European Standard Time, right? So 9 p.m. CEST. Why aren't you? Okay, so that converts to about 2 p.m. So our stream might start late tomorrow. Uh, cause I do want cause they will be they'll be doing this on Twitch. So I'll probably host it like I did last time and then jump right back into Dying Light while we talk about all the coolness. We're supposed to find out more about the stories and all that. So That's what we will be doing tomorrow. Now, Friday, we may be jumping back into World War Z. Uh, I really need to. And we also need to get back into State of K2. I mean, we're kind of running three horror games right now. Uh, so, we'll see, we'll see where we go with that. All right. And again, just before I forget... If you're going to be in the Quad City area, oh, there's Sad Evie. September 3rd, 4th, and 5th at the Rust Belt, East Moline, Illinois, Midwest Monster Fest. All right, so go to MidwestMonsterFest.com to get your tickets. Tickets are relatively cheap for this kind of event, and you will get the chance to meet, come on, all these people right here. There you go. So, you can swing by MidwestMonsterFest.com. You can visit them on Instagram there. Or if you're on Facebook, type in MidwestMonsterFest.com. Check it out. And tell them the zombie sent you for that because he's a good, good friend of mine. Like I said, he sent me. I have a whole pack of these flyers. It's a little less than I had that he sent me. But, oh, flyers. I'm gonna be, I've, I've been discreetly depositing them in places, businesses, and whatnot. That's right, Quad Cities. I'm the one doing it. Deal with it. All right. Well, again, thank you everybody for stopping by. Let's pop Evie up here before the before the goodbye. Evie, there you are. Oh, shit, Evie. All right, everybody. Well, again, I thank you for stopping by. As always, I greatly appreciate you taking the time out of your busy lives to hang out with me. I mean, me. I mean, literally, when you're hanging out with me. I do like my hair this color now. All right. So, anyways, I will see you all tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. And in the meantime, be safe out there. If it's hot and sunny. Drink water, stick in the shade. If it's rainy, don't drive through them puddles. You'll drown. And as always, wash your hands, wash your face, wash your butts. Much love from the zombie. Me and Evie say goodnight. <laughs>